My first professional job was a McDonald's ad. Yeah. And it was it was like it was my first audition ever. I was like, I'm gonna fucking make it. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Yeah, one yes. for one, big boy. <laughs> and I go, I go to this McDonald's ad, I get everyone like gathered around the TV and they fully chop my head off. I was a basketball player, so the camera pulls up and it's just our necks. <laughs> and you just hang your head in shame. Damn. Everyone's been through it. <laughs> Buys breakfast. Buys breakfast. Day one, day one. All right. When is a win? Mikey, who do we have in the building today with us for this 309 recap here? Listen, man. <laughs> This guy, bro. I don't know, but he's. I don't trust him. I don't, I don't trust him, bro. He's trying to sink. He's trying to sink us, bro. I don't know what the. I don't know what the fuck I, is going on with these guys, bro. He's trying to sink us. We got Brandon in the building. What are we doing, bro? We got the family. Dude, we. I, I get so excited when everyone pulls up to the studio yeah. because it's just like a big family thing, um, and it, you know I haven't seen David in since you killed me, man. Yeah, literally that day was the last time I seen you. My nephew. Yeah, so we got we got David Walton, aka Uncle Lucas, in the building. We have Brendan Walsh, the uh, director of the episode, and he's directed a couple previous episodes of um, of Ghost, and he is now our producing director for season four. So, Brendan's in there, baby. He's mm-hmm. making that friend now. He pulled up in the Panamera today. <laughs> Shit is different. He got the Subi on. He got the on. Got the Jordans. He's flexing. Shit man. is going flexing. good, man. Shit is going good. How's everything been, guys? Good, good, man. I'm just trying to keep up with you kids. <laughs> yeah, I know. Trying to hide this gray beard the whole time and be like, no, 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 I got K-Subi. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. I'm good. <laughs> listen, season one, Brandon pulled up. He was in like a polo and this and that. All of a sudden, he like see everyone show up to set and all dripped out. Now he's in Montclair. He's like, Brandon, you changed, bro. <laughs> he's like, hold on, let me let me start you. Dude, on. I'm a 44 year old guy living in Maine with two kids. I have one slightly cool pair of sneakers, and I ride. <laughs> yeah. That's what I want. Yeah, I was like, these things are 20 years old. They reek. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Okay. So, um, before we get into the episode, we're, we are gonna obviously talk to um, to David and Brendan, kind of how they got started in this industry, some behind the scenes stuff. But I feel like we kind of got to touch on what happened because we didn't even talk about the the leak, bro. Damn. Oh the my god. Are fake, though. The leaks, listen, <laughs> the leaks, the leaks, are, leaks fake. are fake. So you are going to have to watch 10 because yeah. we have an alternate ending. Don't believe the hype. Yeah. But but what, everyone's asking what happened. We we don't we know. We don't fucking know. Like, one day we just wake up, everyone's just sending us the episode. Yo, they yeah. got the episode. I was going out. to set because um, I was going to set, and I, and I was looking at all my mentions, and I see the scene where I'm throwing un- Uncle Lucas off the thing. I was like, what the? <laughs> they would not tease this. Right. And then all of a sudden I saw the scene, the ending scene in 10, and I was like, Holy you shit, gotta be yeah. kidding me. So then I knew. It, yeah, I saw everything leaving. on TikTok. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. I'm like, it's over. And do we know who it was? <laughs> we don't know. What's your, what's your, what do I you think? I have no it idea. Is? I remember you called me over to the, Sex to you the and, uh, you and Woody were sitting in the range. You called me over and you're like, there's a leak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a leak. The episodes are out. And yeah. I was like, fuck. Yeah. 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 Damn, it's I was like, but what are they saying? And they're like, <laughs> It's saying it's fire. I was like, right, great, that's my episode. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> <laughs> 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 that's good at least, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, all right, that's fine. I, I was kind of sad because, like, I wanted more of, like, the oh, my God moment, but it, it got kind of, you know, it got leaked a little bit, so people caught wind and that, but... um. The episodes are fire and everyone loved them. Oh. So, so, so let's let's go over on uh, over to you guys. Um, I kind of want to know how you both got started, like doing what you're doing now, um, and then obviously to get it, to get all the way to go. So we'll start with you, David, and then we'll we'll go in we'll go into Brendan. Uh, well, actually, I'm we're in New York right now. That's where I got started. I went to college. I went to Brown, and then I moved here in 2001, like a month after 9/11. Damn. So, yeah, that's a long time ago, and so. I didn't know what I was doing really, how to become. I'm just like, do they still have Backstage Magazine for actors? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Back then, you had to get just a piece of paper, and you would circle and start calling and sending in headshots and stuff like that. And uh, actually, my break 
was that John Krasinski, who I was in a sketch comedy troupe at Brown with. Oh, no way. Did he go there? Yeah. Oh, we I were in the same class. Because I, I grew up in Rhode Island. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So John and I were friends, and he, uh, he told me that Terminator 3, Edward Furlong had a drug habit, so he couldn't be John Connor. And, and they were doing a nationwide search for John Connor, and so they were doing unknown actors. And I walked in there, and uh, I think I did a pretty good job because she was like, would you like an agent? And I was like, yes. <laughs> and then uh, the well, next day, I was literally auditioning for CSI Miami, the pilot. Uh, do you guys remember that show? You mm -hmm. guys are so young, it's hard. Uh, uh, I yeah. only know the joke from uh, Entourage where, they, where he says, no, it's CSI Minneapolis. <laughs> 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 These were huge shows. But anyway, it's just, it's, I'll say this about anyone who watches, who wants to be an actor or anything, you're always like this thin membrane away from a very different life. Right. And it can be very appealing and addictive. And a lot of people don't ever get through that membrane. But it is, in a moment, your whole life can change. And it did there. Like, from that moment on, after that Terminator thing, I got a show out in uh, Mike White's show, who who um, is a big, big time writer now. Anyway, uh, his show is called Cracking Up. And that moved me out to L.A. And I never left for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And then I got to the point where I could, they kind of knew me. So I moved my family to Maine so they could learn how to, you know, wear socks right. and not be super L.A. kids. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little danger in there. Yeah, Dad, can we go to Beverly Hills? Like, yeah. just, I, that's why I don't know if I could... I no, could. there was a preschool where for his second grade birthday, the dad was flying the second grade class from L.A. to Yankee Stadium in a private jet to watch the Yankees. And I was like, it sounds cool, but I don't think I want my seven-year-old on that yeah, yeah. plane. Wait, did yeah, you, you go, though? That? No, no, I didn't. No, but that was like, that's the school. Like, yeah. that's like what you're dealing with, which is fine. It's just a force that I think my wife and I didn't want to. Well, you know what? I think I do want to be involved in that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Jenny, Yankee yeah. game? I'm getting a fucking kid. <laughs> <laughs> but so so what made you want to like want to do it though? Like what what was the start of that? To be an actor? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh was it the women in the cars and the clothes? Well, or? yeah, I think we all do <laughs> want yeah, that. Right. I think ultimately the lie is that it was some artistic thing, but really <laughs> it is about well, girls, you know, <laughs> for That's everybody, right? every rock star and every, right. and then it changes because now I'm very happily married with two kids, but I, uh, but I think acting is so fun. Like I remember coming to the right. set of Power Ghost and I hadn't been on a set in a while and I just like, my mood just lifted and like, you're, you guys are wonderful hosts. I know it's a big job, number one on the call sheet and you have a, just a wonderful energy. So it felt, it was super fun right. and a super great job. But ultimately besides that initial want of wanting adoration and feeling like you know you're you're loved by the world right. which i think is the hole that we all have as right. actors <laughs> right. but um it, you know, the other thing was like, I went to a very serious school. They didn't have a theater program. And there was this very big movie called Lord of the Flies, which is a famous book. Mm -hmm. And they did a nationwide search for that for a bunch of 11 year olds. And I didn't get to audition. And it killed me. When it, you were that young? Yeah, at yeah. 11. And I, you know, most of our decisions are obviously emotional. And I remember, always remember that haunting feeling in my stomach. Like, I didn't get a fucking shot at that movie. And that carried me all the, all the way to my first opportunity. To do, to do theater when I went to high school. So it really was. It was like a frustration. And that right. carried me in, and I've been doing it ever since. Two, right. two decades. I mean, you've boy. done some crazy Fine. stuff. It's so funny because I'll grow up and, like, watch— I've watched everything you've done— but then, like, you don't put two and two together sometimes because I, I don't know. Like, you did that. You did a cheerleading movie. It was like one fired of fired up. Yeah, fired. Yeah. It was like one of my favorite movies. Yeah. Like, me and my older brother quote it all the time. Yeah, teenage sex comedy. Yeah, you love yeah. it. The best. Like the American <laughs> Pie, all that stuff. Like me and my brother used to quote it all the time, and I was like, oh my god. Like uh, it, this was last year. I called my brother. I was like, the guy who's playing my uncle this year wasn't fired up. He goes, Prahibi Dabo. <laughs> like, he was just like quoting it to each other. It was so fucking funny. Um, Were you a cheerleader? Were you? A no, I was the villain. I was this you really douchey <laughs> pre-med guy yeah. named Dr. Rick. And uh, I was <laughs> dating Rick the lead like girl. <laughs> and my most famous line is, I pull up in a white convert BMW convertible. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm acting all, like, cocky, and Eric Christian Olsen tries to insult me because I'm being a total dick to these two high school boys. And he goes, what size shoes are you, eight and a half? And I go, ten and a half, Papo, eleven in Crocs. And I pull out. <laughs> I peel out. <laughs> And so people, Crocs. Crocs. so people scream that at that, me on the street. Really? 
<laughs> and then I will tell one more story no, about that. Ask, one of the highlights so of my life, because this I was destroyed by this man's death, like, as we all were, Kobe Bryant. Yeah. But he, I was on New Girl, That's and he was cool. a guest star on New Girl. He came and visited the set, and I was there. And, of course, it's Kobe, and you're clammed up. You're like, holy shit. Right. And uh, he goes, yo, man, uh, we watched Fired Up every, before every single game of our championship run. And I was just like crying. Like, I was just like, wait, what? <laughs> that, <laughs> that was crazy. his hype up, like relaxing movie for the locker room on their last championship run. Was fired insane. up every before every single game. He was like, so Kobe I'm a 13 in Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a 17. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine Shaq be like, damn, man, this is crazy. Like, yeah. That is wild. Uh, yeah, no, I think about it. That's but anyway. Yeah. I, haven't who, seen, who, I haven't seen that movie, but I thought... I was kind of looking at him, I was like, were you a male cheerleader? <laughs> like, 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 you he's a really tall. Tall. The backwards. premise of the movie is these two very like horny football players <laughs> go to cheerleading camp because they're the only straight dudes there. Uh -huh. And then they just basically yeah. are like, you know, Rump sheep and around. wolf in sheep clothes. Yeah, of course. It's yeah. such a good movie. It's really funny. <laughs> yeah. Who, who's your favorite funny. person you've ever worked with? In my life? Yeah, besides you, me. big boy? Yeah. <laughs> besides the boys. Besides the boys. Who's no, like someone uh, besides Kobe? They're like, oh my God, this was so crazy. This needs to be the, the, your Well, favorite. I was on this show, Bent, which is an NBC, short lived NBC show, but like everyone in it after uh, like exploded. Like Jeffrey Tambor yep. became, he was in the uh, Transparent That's show. Right. Doctors need. Um, and Amanda Doctors Pete was in it. J.B. Smoove was in it. Oh, J.B. Smoove. Cool. Yeah, it was like everybody yeah. and everyone like exploded right after the show. So it was a really cool to sort of see this little show that really propelled my career. Because I think for listeners, the acting profession, there's so many failed shows and movies that right. don't hit. But within that people sort of fail upwards. They pop out of these things. Right. And I was on this short-lived show that didn't, you know, it was on for two weeks and an hour, but it was, it like sort of changed two my- Two weeks? It got canceled in two weeks? It was weeks? six episodes and they were doing back-to-back -back and it was just like a burn-off on NBC. Yeah. But the reviewers and everyone caught wind and they were like, this is like a really special show. And as you know, like reviewers that can, they kill you when they're bad. Right. But when they're good, they can really like pop your status right. up. And right. so from that point on, like I got offered New Girl, I got offered this other show about a boy, which was a big John Favreau directed NBC show. So things like, even when you're in the depths of despair, or like you're just- so disappointed. Um, if you just keep doing as good work as possible for the actors out there, like you can, you can fail upwards. Right. So it's just all always about doing right. good work, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. And then you got offered Ghost, obviously, and yeah, and that was uh, wild. I was on the streets of New York just visiting, and I got a call, and I was like, I am in. It was they were like, Josh Jackson just turned it down, and you're next in line. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah. They told you that? Yeah, yo, my agents did. Because I always like, I was like, they're coming to me? Like, who, who'd they go to first? <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You never yeah. asked that? I always yeah. like to know. You know well, but I don't care about Josh Jackson. I'm just so happy that I got to work with David Me Wallace. too. And now we're, and I'm your uncle for life. Yeah, I, hope, I, li you know? I literally text you. I'm like, I'll just text him for like advice. I'll call him. Like, hey, yeah, uncle, yeah. like, what's going on? We, we've been having it. We've been getting it going. And I learned a great new word from the show, which is avunculicide, which is the official term for killing your uncle. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's wow. like a German word or it's something? Avunculicide. It's like a Latin root. I mean, aside, homicide, fratricide, infanticide, regicide, the killing of a king. Avunculicide is the killing of an uncle, dude. Oh, Nobody knows you that You definitely shit. will learn some new words, too, like watching, like, facts, bet. Like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> my God. Like, I'm I'm first, yeah, yeah, say yeah, say yeah, say can yeah. I tell you how yeah. embarrassed I am, dude? I live in Maine. I had never heard the word fire when I came down there. <laughs> For yeah. the first fucking day, I heard it over a thousand. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's fine. I was fire. like, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And now my daughter's in fifth grade says slay. Is that cool? Slay. Yeah, it, yeah, it's like it's like a that, younger oh, like. Yeah. Okay, all right. Slay. For the, for the right I'm yeah. gonna go to you. I'm gonna go to you guys yeah, for all good, future. You just start texting us. Oh like, God, slay. Is she talking <laughs> about a penis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, all I want to know is this penis? Because yeah. yeah. that's all I care about. No, it's not. She's talking about. It's so funny because script stuff will come out and Brendan will read it. He goes, Nah, we should put like. We should put like lit or fire in here. Like Brendan will chase up. I'm like Brendan, my God! How's the lingo? To him, baby. Yeah. I had my yeah. my 15 year old daughter sat with, with these guys the other day. She literally says to me, she's like, 
You guys say fire all too much. He's like, you guys call everything fire. Yeah. Is, fire is, fire, is fire maintaining? Is it starting to dip? Is it nah, going up? Is up? No, yeah. fire is still fire. 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 fire is still fire. Yeah, Are there fire any fire. new words coming up? Gas. 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 Tell me, gas. When you say gas in a state, same thing like that. Gas is gas. I like gas. See, I would use gas. Fire is harder for me to say, but gas. Gas is gas. That's gas. This experience is gas right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that shit way. Wavy, bro. Yeah. Like, wavy? Like, yeah, wavy. That's yeah. good. That's yeah, a positive. Wavy is wonderful. Uh, uh, we, 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 <laughs> cut this. Wavy is we could so cut this wonderful. if you want, but we're literally sitting, like, me and Mike just wrapped a scene in Washington Square Park, and we just, like, start walking away. We're done for the day. So we just, like, lit up and, like, Washington Square Park just, like, start smoking, and then Brandon's just standing there, and his daughter's right next to him, and he just looks, and he's like, Bro, I get, I literally get out the truck. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm yeah, good. yeah. I have my joint, I'm walking to set, see what they got going on. I'm like, oh shit, this is your daughter. I'm like, oh, let me yeah, he's put like, my guys, like, like, he's like, guys. He's like, come on. I'm like, wait, wait, let me put this shit away. Let me put this shit away. Oh, it was so fucking. What were you gonna thing. ask, David? Oh, wait, like I want a negative word. Negative. Um, like, like a word when shit is just like. Sherm. Sherm. Yeah. Sherm. Yeah, that shit is sherm. Yeah, that shit is sherm. 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 Just someone who's like corny. Yeah, yeah, or, he's sherm, yeah. bro. Okay. Like, yeah. That shit is sherm. You can't say a lot of the old ones that we used to say. So, <laughs> sherm is a new one. Sherm. Or, but yeah. Is that because the word, the name Sherman, is kind of lame, or where does sherm come from? Honestly, I really don't know the origin. I just know like sherm is just like, <clears throat> it's like a good word to like. You know, like just can, is it sherm. only a human being <laughs> who's sherm, yeah, yeah, or can no, the situation be sherm? Yeah, 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 bro, this, this shit is sherm. Yeah, like, bro, this shit is oh, sherm. Yeah, we out of here, bro. Nothing this about this situation is sherm at all. Yeah, no, no, no. This is no. wavy. This, this is, is wavy. This is a wavy situation right here. <laughs> this is gas. <laughs> this is gas. This is gas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll bring it over to Brendan. So, Brendan, you really like, gotta let us know, yeah. man. How did you get into this? Because I am curious. Like, what was this? Uh, I have a bunch of little stories that we'll see how many I I can get out. Uh, pump them all out, Brendan. Pump them out. Right. I'm, I'm sure they're all fire. So I grew up. You know, I wanted to get into film when I started doing little sketches. My sister did like she was like a drama person. Wanted to do musical theater. Grew up down DC. And she wanted to, you know, she always performed and did a little sketch. She started, like, shooting these little videos, like, old school VHS. Right. You don't know <laughs> what that is, but it's the shit you see in all the old movies. Right. I love VHS. Right? <laughs> and you have to rewind the bullshit before you watch correct. it. Correct. You have to rewind <laughs> it and do all that stuff. So we would Damn. we would record little sketches and, and you know, I would cut stuff together with a VH, two VHS decks and start cutting it together. And I eventually Crazy. did one for a class. And... I was sitting in the back of the class, and, you know, I was like, it was funny. Some of it was dark. Some of it was funny. Some of it was both. And I started seeing people just, like, the reaction, like, people laughing. And I was like, yeah, it's I like, nice, right? I was like, I like this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I, you know, I went into the front. I was like, this is my presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I did something ridiculous. Like, I was like, Machiavelli. And I had to do something on Princezilla. And they were like, you need to have visual aid. And I was like, can I do a video? And they are like, yes. And so, like, I ended up doing, like, Prince Zilla, like Godzilla, mm. with I put a, you know I think I actually was in like a Barney costume. I made it all black and white, pretend like I was crushing the world, you know. Right. But I, I pop it in, I sit in the back, and everyone's laughing, and everyone's enjoying it. And then the next one, they're like, "Hey, are you gonna do a video on the next project? Like, yeah. can I do the video with you?" And I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah." yeah. 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 Um, and so you know, I didn't know anybody who can get me into this business, right? And that's kind of how you get into this business. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. it's, a it's real hard. Yeah. And, Shout you know, out Michael's Lounge in Jamaica. Go on. That's <laughs> 22. Facts. It's, um, so I went out, you know, I ended up um, knowing, just, so there was somebody that I knew that could found an internship that, uh, you know, knew somebody who knew somebody else who knew somebody else who knew somebody else. And, right. like, when they got to me, it was like, I got this internship to do a movie called Swim Fan. Um, with like Erica Christensen and Jesse Bradford. Yeah, and we don't know who either. Of those you know, people are, I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and at that time they were like eighteen or yeah. whatever. And yeah. I was nineteen years old, and I get you know I come up work for free in New York. Right. And I don't know anybody in New York, so I go. I make a. I call one guy who I knew in New York. I was like, Hey, man, I need an internship. I want to come up. I had moved. I had already lived by myself. I was like on my own, so I was kind of like I didn't have money. And I was like, I'm going to stay, can I stay on your couch? I'm going to do this movie. It's going to be like just one month and like, you know, let me come up. And he's like, yeah, no problem. 
And then, like, two weeks before this movie's about to start, I get a call. I had, like, gotten a job at GNC or something to just get money. Right. Like, I literally went in for like, a month on a job. I was like, I need to, you know, and I'm at this interview, and they're like, so where do you see yourself five? I was like, I can see myself managing a GNC. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I can totally Definitely. see myself. And I was like... I'm leaving in three weeks. I saved up. That's it. I saved up thirteen hundred dollars, and two weeks before I'm coming up, this guy calls me back. He's like, "You can't, uh, you can't stay. I gotta come back." I was like, "No, no, 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 no. This, that's a big problem for me. I gotta, I have, I'm coming up. This is the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to manage a GNC. Right. So what, you know, what am I gonna do here?" And I call, like, the person who got the job from the person who called the person who called the other person. Right. Like, all these, like, weird, like, it was, like, somebody at Sony, somebody who worked for somebody whose brother was in the DGA, right. who's, who, That's always who's how it goes. friends at Sony Pictures, whose brother was this person, <laughs> right. who called an AD who was his brother, and then his brother-in-law uh, hired me to be an intern. Right. And so I call back, and they have no idea who I am, and they think, like, I have money. <laughs> and I go, I, I, I go, I don't. I'm gonna have no place to live. So can I come up and, like, do you have any suggestions? He's like, you can rent my place. It's on 73rd and Third. And I was like, oh, oh, okay, cool. How much is that? He was like, it's twelve hundred dollars. And this was like, and that's all. This you is had like twenty five years ago, right? right? So, like, so it's like four bands. Now. And tw it, yes, it's like yeah. it, it's a top notch place. And I'm like, I, I mean, I have. I have twelve hundred dollars. So I went. I went up. I paid twelve hundred dollars, and then for the next month, I had a hundred dollars to my name, and I just worked for free. And it was the you kind of set good, huh? Oh, I was stealing from Sal, yeah. just like walking around, like give me a, a, give me all this food that you guys go. You gonna throw that food away? Yeah. That was me and my first guest star. My whole backpack was like <laughs> it was out to the back with, with granola bars. I was yeah. like, I'm heading home now. You Bro. you don't realize how crazy it is on set until you like get Bro, there. Honestly, people st like to this day, Naturi, she would have like she would get like lunch and shit. She would leave the the <laughs> catering with like three boxes. She's like, I'm bringing this shit home. <laughs> she's, like, yeah. she's like, I got Zuri at home. Like, like, yeah. She's like, I'm bringing this home to Zuri. Like, she don't care, bro. Yeah. To yeah. this day. So then I. Uh... You know, so then that was me, like, oh, I broke in. Right. Now I'm a PA. Now I'm an mm -hmm. intern. Now I'm a PA. And then I kind of, which is a terrible <clears throat> place to break in when you want to be a director, because it's like, I broke in down here, and I got to get way up there yeah. if you want to do this. Right. And, you know, I eventually, I, like, did a little bit of college, went back, and I didn't really do a full film school. Uh, I was doing, I was trying to PA and trying to, like, figure it out. Like, I felt like I learned more. Like, I was in a cinema studies program uh, class, and the teacher was explaining, like, a racking focus shot. Like, this person's in focus, that person's in focus. And I'm going, and someone goes, like, how do they do that? And he was like, well, I don't really know the exact way. I was like, right. I know how to do that. I just, like, I watched the people do it for nothing. Like, right. what do you mean you don't know how to like, do that? Godfather like, just, why am I here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. What am I, what am I learning here? You more on set than you would ever learn in a film <laughs> class. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I got, I got a call to do... Uh, the Wire as a PA, and nice. I was like, I was like, all right, I'm out of school. I'm just gonna try so to you do this. Benga. Oh yeah, I worked with Benga. Yeah, damn, that's why. <clears throat> and then cool, uh, full circle, man. when we saw each other, like there's a couple people that I worked with here every time, you know, like Sunjata, like I worked with him on Rescue Me yeah. when I was, you know, a PA. Mecca. But, yeah. Um, and and Benga the same, and so I slowly was just trying to look and crawl my way up, and I saw. Uh, Anthony Hemingway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who did the pilot of yep. Power of Power, Pilot Angle, of Ghost? Yep. He directed and, both of those, Pilot of Power and the Pilot of Ghost. And he was an AD. Oh, he was the first AD on the Wire. And I was like watching, and then they gave him an episode, and I was like, okay, that's how I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do what that guy's doing, right? AD, right? And then <laughs> so, they gave you an episode. And then I, direct, I did the same thing. So I AD'd, you know. You know, fought my way through things. Ended up having to shoot my own like spec stuff and whatever right. to because you got to showcase. Right, what you can do. People don't want to make like risks with you know these episodes would cost a lot of money. Right. <laughs> I could be yeah. like, hey, this guy says he could direct. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. So I went and shot a couple shorts or a short and a spec, and I was on Nurse Jackie, and um, I was the AD for three years or something, three seasons, and right. then I said like, I really like an episode and. There was a little bit of like, well, maybe. And like one of the producers, I was like, look, I really think I need to have an episode. And if I don't, like, it's probably going to be a problem. Like, I mm -hmm. probably can't be here because I need to find somewhere that's going to give me an episode. <clears throat> right. Or else, like, 
I'm just going to always be at this. I'm, I got to break through this ceiling, right? right? <clears throat> and um, they gave me an episode. It was fun. We all had a great time. I had been on the show for a while, so I knew the actors really well. So, right. you know, just kind of being an AD for a long time, like, learned how to, like, talk to actors, deal with actors, right. you know, persuade actors or, you know, someone gets mad, someone gets this, like, how to, you know, help people. Right. And, uh, you know, halfway through that season, there was another director that had to get out of their contract, and they go, do you want to do another episode? I was like, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so... We did it, you know, I did the second episode of that season, which was in season six or whatever. And then at the end of that, I get a call, and they're like, uh, I go, now what do I do? And they're like, well, now you got to go, like, meet people at Showtime and go to Lionsgate and, like, and, like you got to get an agent. I was like, cool, cool. Like, do I just, like, pick up the phone and go, like, 1-800-Showtime? <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, hey, yeah. I was just there. Like, yeah. so, you know, somebody set up some meetings. <laughs> I got an agent and... Uh, halfway through the summer after that, I get a call. Uh, the producer calls me. He's like, how many episodes do you think you could direct and also AD? And I was like, I think, you're, I think you're asking the wrong question. I was like, whatever you'd like of me as an AD, you get when I direct. So tell me what you want, and we'll figure it out. And so I, my agent calls me like a month later and is like, I just got a call from Nurse Jackie. I was like, oh, great. How many episodes? Is it like two or three? Is it like three? And I was like... Six of 12. And I was like, I was like, that's great. He was like, that's season. unheard of. Yeah, and I was like, well, crazy. you said yes, right? <laughs> <laughs> season is crazy. So, so that season, right now. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. it was the final season and it was like one episode, you know, I did the, I did the premiere of the final season and then every episode up to that. And Bro, how was like, how was like prepping for that and everything? Like, it's like I mean, that show is, I mean, it's a different show than right. what we're doing. Right. Like, it was, you shot five days an episode. Damn. Damn that's it was a bad. half hour show. Mm -hmm. uh, and it would, a lot of it took place inside the stage. So we had a big, we had a nice big nurse floor. I mean, uh, you know, it was super fun to work on. It was an awesome, you know. Damn, five days right. an episode. Yeah. But five, yeah. yeah so like yeah. you would prep for five, but you'd prep no, for four or five days. There's no shooting, there's no guns, there's no yeah. desks. There's no, there's like, no, no, correct. It's very easy. Correct. I mean, yeah. we had a lot of like, Easier. we had a lot of hot, you know, cutting people open, right. hospital stuff, but. Mm. Uh, you know, it was all you know. It's on the stage. Right. It was a right. lot on the stage, like one day out of. Uh, so, so then, how did how did Ghost come along? Because you didn't work on any of the original Power. You I, I worked a little bit on the original Power. What as season an, was as it? AD? Yeah, just like a just. I, there was a <laughs> there was a season where. So basically, after that, I was like, "Oh, I'm just going to be a director, and that's it." Right. right. And then I did a couple other shows, <clears throat> and. Uh, I wasn't necessarily getting as much directing work as I wanted to. And I got I had three kids and, you know, got a lot of bills. So I was like, okay. I went and did a movie of my own. It was a, a like a half a million dollar movie. Uh, it's called Centigrade. You guys can watch it. And if you <laughs> buy it, uh, if you buy it, nice. I think I get a little money. Um, <laughs> Go buy some Centigrade. It, was all, it all took place Go in a car, some. right? Yeah, it all took place in a car. We, like, put a car in a freezer in Staten Island and we shot. Oh, you guys shot in Staten Island. We shot in Staten Island right by right by Michael's crib. <laughs> I was like, yo, what y'all doing? Yeah. <laughs> we sat in a, sat uh, shot in an ice cream freezer. Damn. That's we like crazy. we like emptied out an ice cream freezer and had pulled up a truck, put it on there. That's crazy. So I did that and then that made I made no money doing that. And I was doing that, and that took like two years of my life. And I was wow. like, I'm not making I didn't make any money. And yeah. then I was like, I gotta go back to ADing. And I got a call for, for Ghost Season 1. And I had, like I said, I had done some work on, on some of the powers. Right. Um, and, the, you know, I was like, look, I think at that time I, was, I had a, an episode of a show called uh, Tommy, which was another Edie Falco yep, show. Yep, yep. And I was like, I'm doing this episode, I'm directing this episode, and I can do maybe the second rotation or whatever. But I was very noncommittal. I was like, right. ah. And they're like, you know, we're launching like three, four shows, like three, four shows. Like it's all going to be this whole big spinoff. And I was like, okay, this is, let me come in. I'll do it. And I'll try to see, like, I go like, you know, I'm going to ask for an episode of like, Eventually, like, and yeah. like as soon as I can, I'm yeah. going to start asking. Just so everyone knows back home. So the ADs rotate episodes. So you, you were doing all what the odd episodes. I and, think that was like even. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Even episodes. And then the other AD was doing all the odd episodes because they prep 
the episode and the schedule, everything for the next episode while the AD is on set, making sure everything is. So it's like they rotate. Um, you won't be on set, but you'll be prepping for the next episode. And then the next episode, you'll be on set, but won't be prepping because the next AD is on for that. Yeah. So that's kind of like how that how that works. What he means the rotation, but go on. I mean, the funny, the, the funny thing when I did my few days on Power, like, so... I interviewed for Power probably season four, mm-hmm. and it was when I was directing all the Nurse Jackie stuff. Yeah, and I literally because I was I didn't know how what I didn't know what it was going to end up being. Right. So I literally like show up to the parking lot of Steiner. Mm-hmm. I get drove driven by a Teamster from that show, and I'm. Uh, you know, I go into this interview and they're like, well, what are you doing right now? I was like, well, right now I'm like directing like six of 12 episodes of this show. Yeah, not like, a big deal. <laughs> uh, I like, but I, I actually was, I was just actually interviewing to be the AD and I, I didn't want to do it. Like I was like, I really don't want to do this, but like I'll come in, I'll meet people or right. whatever. And I didn't get the job. And I was like, what do you mean you didn't give me the job? Like I, I didn't even want to do it. <laughs> I didn't want to yeah, do it. Yeah. And <laughs> apparently the producer I called, um, a producer I worked with me, and I was like, is Brendan more of an AD or more of a director? And they were like, no, you, with Brendan you get both. Like, he's good at this, he helps directors get yeah. through, so you kind of have, like, he's he's all the strengths as an AD and all the strengths as a director, it kind of all works. Right. And they were like, I think we need someone who's more of an AD. And they're like, got off the, that's what that producer told me. I was like, well, I was going to turn them down. So, <laughs> yeah. I was so butthurt yeah. about yeah. the whole thing. Uh, and then there was like some season where I ended up coming in and doing some fires and some second units because like right. I was just getting calls. Like an AD, somebody had a stomach ache or a back pain or something right. and I would get these calls and I would come in and do like a day here, day there. Right. And I ended up doing an episode with Bart and he was directing. And, you know, I did my thing. I was like, hey, do you want to, like, like, I tried to just help him, be like, hey, what is, what, what do you need, like, you know, whatever drama was going on or whatever it was, you know, I just kind of did it. And then, you know, when Ghost came around, apparently Bart was like, you got to call, we want, you know, call Brendan and see if he wants to do it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So, so then that, and then you were ading one, two, three, and then now season four, you're producing, directing. So producing, directing, basically, you oversee all the directors on every episode. Um, a lot of the script stuff comes through Brendan. You know, Brendan is. Brandon, you've been instrumental in season four, yeah, to be yeah. honest. So, Super like, amazing. I'm very vocal about that. I, I think you've been doing amazing work, and that's why I kind of wanted man. you to come on the podcast. Yeah. So, yeah, dude, it's awesome to see, like, like where we first started as AD, and now, like, he's got an office with a big TV in there. <laughs> 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 you got to tell a TV story. <laughs> a <laughs> temp at GNC. To the yeah. The, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he was about to be the manager. He was about to be the manager at GNC. Now, look. He's, he's got a big office, and he just overlooks Steiner from his office. Like, he's like, this with the hand. He's like, yeah, this is all mine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, no, Brett's the boss. Brett does everything, and yeah. I just sit here and try to, to Brett, make, make up, sure bro. it works works for That's him. That's not what you were no. telling me before. That you were <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're like, Brett's not even around. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> no like, we, we had Brett on the, the first episode. Brett's great. We'll definitely have him come back. Um, he's been doing an amazing job, too. Season four is fire, but Insane. we need to get into 309. Some of you have seen oh, 310 yeah, we gotta, yet. We gotta talk but about we're not, this if you haven't seen 310, we're not going to spoil anything for you. Yeah, so um, if you haven't seen it and you're waiting like a civilized human being um, <laughs> and you're going to wait for the episode to come out, there will be no spoilers this episode, but there will be for 309. So um, we can kind of get into, into the episode. Three oh nine, baby. Dude, that opening shot, insane. I know. I loved it. Insane. I really did. I'd never seen that on TV. Yeah, where it came together. <laughs> yeah, it was wow. so cool. Split screen. I was yeah. like, I was like, what was the opening and shot? No, I was like, oh, yeah. the split screen thing. Yeah. Just a bunch of shots. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. I don't understand. How did they get that to come in? It was together? so. Yeah. It was- it's. Uh, so it was it was it was written, you know, uh, Gabby who wrote this script. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shout out Gabby. Shout out Gabby wrote, yeah. you know, it was written that way um, that you know these two worlds and they just want to see them collide. Like these right. guys are off doing their own thing, mm. figuring stuff out, and then boom, have them. Uh, so the the way to do it is you basically you try to put a camera in one spot and 
you know, start start this frame this way so that it always ends, and then start this frame this way so that it always ends in the together. right spot, and then you just kind of they need to be the same height just, though, right? Exactly. You had to height. you basically don't move the camera. Yeah. You try to keep the camera there. You just find you know yeah. the, the worst place is trying to figure out the. It's like you need the right location, the right this because right. you got to like. You're basically stitching these two shots right. together, and that was Davis's office, so it was kind of tough. Cubicles everywhere. This Cubicles and that. everywhere. Yeah. 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 So what what happened right after right after the thing? It was the Kane and Tariq fight. That's Kane. Uh, He'd be my Kane eyes, man. <laughs> Kane and Tariq. <laughs> be my eyes. That was crazy. Bro, but you're, here's the thing: you're not. You, you, not yeah, I'm, you yeah, have yeah. your strengths. No, yeah, that's not my strength. Right. <laughs> At all. Braden <laughs> was a little bitch. He couldn't kill anyone. Like we we know her. Like as you said on the as table, a, I, like Tariq is not smart though. Like why would you swing on Kane though? Like you know you're not gonna to win that fight like <laughs> why would you swing on Kane this bro? anger yeah, he was mad he was bro he was saying some wild shit like, he was yeah he crazy. pushed you yeah, yeah. he, he, was was he said you left uh, Effie thirsty yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was the yeah, was that was the crazy. line that he you were like crazy. bam I'm like word I bet <laughs> we swing on this nigga <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, I, I work. <laughs> well I, yeah I remember even like Woody on that day was like I mean you know I kill him here right like I, I could like Kane would yeah. kill him I was like, yeah, but we're going to stop you before that happens. <laughs> he wants to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he's like, yeah. uh, now I kill him. Yeah. This is where yeah. I kill him. Yeah. I was like, but, like, just fuck with him a little bit, and, and, then, a- and then you'll get stopped. Yeah. You know, that's why he's... Then I remember we did that. Did like, we were, like, we were throwing shot. a stunt guy into the thing, it's and Michael's a, like, I can I can't 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 throw into this thing. I was yeah. like, yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm I cool. We just got to, like... And yeah, like, bro, we your throw, face was in it. His face yeah, we was threw, in it. We threw yeah, him in it. You know, yeah. you always got to have, you know, stunt like, guy, on, stunt guy break shit first, make sure yeah. all the pointy stuff gets yeah, yeah, yeah. rounded out. <laughs> right. um, and then we hop in. And yeah. Do, do the yeah. Job. Yeah. And, yeah, that's why I was like, Woody, I was like, yeah, he was, he was like, I want to kill him. I was like, yeah, pick up this, this compute, the computer, and I can smash him on his head. And, and then, then after like, this yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and it was like, and then we'll stop you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that thank you like, so much, Michael. It's been 10 years, Kane kills you with a desktop. And Davis is office. Yeah, exactly. That's a fucked up. Dell screen. And now, a public service announcement. From our friends at Manscaped. So there's been a ton of advancements since the boys have been on with the Manscaped team. Yeah, now they going crazy, bro. They upping it every time, every chance they get. So they got the Beard Hedger. They got the Weed Whacker 2.0. 2.0. Some new stuff. Not only can you go down there, but you can go up here. You know what I'm saying? Not just below the waist, but you can get the face. You feel me? (laughs) (laughs) And the Beard Hedger Pro Kit is the ultimate package to craft. I exactly want to look at your beard right, you know what I'm saying? Real chiseled and everything. Look all sexy. No patches, none of that. It's electric. It's cordless. It's tough on hair. It's waterproof. Is it? Waterproof. It has like 20 different links with one guard, so you only need like 50 guards in your drawers going Bro, crazy. Bro, I absolutely hate mess. when the drawer is everywhere and there's Bro, stuff all over that. You, you don't, don't got to do none of that. One guard, 20 links. Y'all know the deal, and y'all know how I feel about paying for shipping, so what could they do? They use the promo code CREW. You get 20% off. 20%. Free shipping. The boys is looking out. I mean, And it's the best. We only align with brands that we absolutely love and believe in. So help the boys out. Use the promo code CREW. 20% off free shipping at Manscaped. Please, use the code. Yeah, use, use the, code. the code. Help us. The more us. y'all use the code, the more we give y'all all this sexy, beautiful content. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So so I, I I took notes for this episode just because you guys really fucked us up with these leaks. I don't know who did it, but um yeah, fucking yeah, I forget. Leaks, a, a, a cool little note was that Agent Medina, who is the one who y- you wind up calling mm-hmm. and saying I have all this information, he was in. I don't know if it was the pilot, but he was in the first couple episodes of the original Power when um. Uh, Lobos was walking into the um, the boxing ring area to meet. I don't know who was meeting, but Medina was the one who was looking through the um, the peephole mm. and looking at him. Where did he go for four seasons? Did he like book a show and then went somewhere else? I have no idea. Because that's a lot of the times like how that can happen is like an actor can literally like book a show, which is what kind of happened with with Trace, with Trace yeah. Corey Jacoma, yeah. my brother. He booked a, another show and. Um, and he went and and went and filmed it, and he then left there, the boys right. Man. And there wasn't a lot of trace in season two because he was filming that show. And then when he would come in, I would shit down and be like, "Oh, Mister Two Shows is showing." <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, he smacked you in the balls yeah. in yeah, this that was, episode. Yeah, that was fucking yeah. unscripted. What, was that this episode or was that was yeah. this episode? Yeah. That yeah. was this episode. Oh yeah, he hit me in the ball. Yeah, that was unscripted. unscripted. Was, yeah. Yeah. Did he actually get you? No, it hurt. Oh, oh my god! god. Yeah, I'm 
pretty sure there was a couple takes. Like, you first it was like fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the yeah. worst when it starts rising up. Yeah. It's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's the worst pain. But yeah, that, that, that's what happened with with, uh, with Corey. And then he would, uh, then his the show got canceled. It was called 3300 or 4400, one of them, on uh, CW. It was for one season. And um, he w- he like showed up at the set like with his tail between his legs a little bit. Like, hey, is that there and going? I was like, oh, you're yeah. coming back to the yeah. boys, huh? It's not all fun and games over there, huh? And he's like, yeah, can, can you just make sure they like give me more episodes now? I'm like, yeah, that's how this works, bro. No, no. So you left us, buddy. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Courtney had some real... I think he was supposed to be a big part of season, season two. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I remember being like, and then, and then, because I, I literally like, saw I was like, what happened to that from, dude? So, right. From season one, you kind of, like, see it. Coming. Yeah, because yeah. he, he was so good. Like, he's great. He's so yeah, good. He's good. And he, he, like, some of the stuff that he says is just so wild. Like It's crazy because he's not a douchebag at all. He's, like, fucking... Yeah, woke. he's such a good he's guy. He's, like, cool and nice and shit. Like, damn, bro. Yeah. But he plays it so well. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. You would really think he's that much of a dickhead. Right? Like, <laughs> what, what kind of stuff was he saying in, in 309, uh... Like, or not in 309, in 3 in general. Like, you guys had some fun stuff together, and then he would walk up, like, we're going to make, like, Juneteenth a holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He has, like, his own little dialogue that they kept going. Like, it was, like, his own little stand-up routine on the way out. It's so funny, though. It's just, like, (laughs) out-of-pocket stuff. I'm like, this is so good, though. Yeah, he's really good. Yeah, Yeah, nah, Corey is super good. He's Um, super tough. So then we go, this was funny, the the Kane... And, and the, with the door. The door. <laughs> <laughs> so when Kane hits me with the door, we, we actually broke the Range Rover door. Really? Right? Yeah. Yeah, we yeah, we broke. Did. There's two Range Rovers. We broke the Range Rover door, the first one, because he kept well, driving up. Apparently, right, apparently, right? apparently you're not supposed to keep opening a Range Rover at, at speed yeah. and then slamming the brakes. <laughs> yeah. So, like, it was like, <laughs> how many while, takes of his, like, And then finally, the last one, the door was, like, stayed on the other side and did not go back. So, they just brought the other Range Rover in. But we shot that twice. We did shoot that twice. We shot that like, twice. Well, like two different days. Yeah, two different days. Well, Holy we shit. just we missed something that we God, that yeah. really wanted, and it really helped. Yeah, it it was just that scene came out great. It did. It came out great. Although I there actually, is, I was talking to somebody yes or this morning, and they were like, "I think there's gonna be a meme with Gianni." You're like, ah. <laughs> I was surprised that you, I, well, did you. Do you think you Ubered to that sort of fake hospital that looked like it was a hospital room in Weston Holding? <laughs> <laughs> That's how. That's how. Every, that, that's how we everybody gets that. around. No, no, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah. The, the the hospital stuff. Um, it is on the stages, and it is. Right, is it right? Now? Oh no, yeah. Westing Holdings was a real building. Yeah, no, so it that was, was a real building. building. But, yeah. but yeah, it was. It's right. I was like, next this looks like, like a school slash hospital. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 you giving me the gun in the? In the in like, what, no. What, so that's ten. No, See? this is where you come in and you visit him, and you're like, you're ready, and you just like take out his IV. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly. Right. But like, you may have had internal stuff. bleeding or some yeah. sort of broken like, ribs. I got internal bleeding. I got to the hospital. Yeah. And then I went there, and then he literally just like, I, I don't know why Braden was even there in the first place because he goes, "You're unadmitted." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're Braden's good. like, oh, "Okay, <laughs> yeah, oh, Tariq, get back yeah, yeah, out yeah, there. I'll do whatever you say." Honestly, I will justify it to say I think Braden just needed like to get away from he, everything. Yeah, he needed some time right. alone. Right. He, he wanted home, but yeah. he still would have been in like right you know, with his he family. He had no family. place to go. He's yeah. like, I, Hosp- could get, I could get a sleep here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, nobody's gonna bother me. Yeah. He took an yeah. Uber. He yeah. took an Uber to the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Braden, the character Braden hasn't worked nearly as much since the last. You know, in season one, you basically started to work. You know, so it, by three, which, you know, what in our show is what? Right. A month. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> three right. seasons is like one month. Yeah. And everyone's been dead and gone to trial and done all that stuff. <laughs> but <laughs> so, yeah, one but, month is crazy. No, we, we also talk about no, there's never summer. It's no. never summer. No, it's, summer. <laughs> it's never summer. There's summer no summer. Power. Yeah. I think we might fuck. I think we might break that this season though. You yeah. think so? I think I think Brett was talking about it. He's uh, the, the day we. Was they actually, said that season three they were gonna do that. Ah fuck. Yeah. We're just feeding the shit. Though. Yeah. He's just feeding it. He's just feeding that shit. Damn, what the fuck? No, no, no. He's been saying that we might, we might, you know. It's just tough, though. It's like weird. Like, 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 it's like a weird time jump. Like, yeah. The clothes, the clothes being hot in the clothes is kind of what sucks. Yo, I'm not going to lie. Like, seeing, like, the characters wear summer clothes is going to be mad weird. Yeah. Like, you know, like, wearing shorts. Kane's doing a robbery with shorts on. He's got shorts and Timberlands. He's Shorts, Timberlands, and a durag. He's like, oh, fuck, I'm hot out here. Yeah, yeah. The silkies just sweating. New York is so hot. So how did you like the clothes when you were... 
I wasn't up. used to a budget like this. I mean, Ghost yeah. does not fuck around. Yeah. It was amazing. I was mm -hmm. I the best shirt maker. Oh, I'm gonna forget the name. It's in Paris. And yeah. I was like, day one, I was like, this is a a Shiraz shirt. Like, this thing is like the place where John F. Kennedy got his shirts made in Paris. <laughs> right. It's like a $2,000 shirt. What the fuck is going on <laughs> yeah. here? And you do never even see the shirt. It's under the jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, this is, yeah. is this the under guy. Is this the under Two days ago, two days ago, I had on, what did I fucking have? I had like a, like a $1,500 yeah. undershirt YSL with the hoodie over it and yeah. then a jacket over yeah. it. Yeah. I'm like, bro, you got to give me hands, bro. Yeah. I'm like, come on. <laughs> like, no, for the story, we need the YSL. Yeah. 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 I'm like, all right, all right. Did you I'm feel like John F. Kennedy when you put it on? Yeah. yeah and I, tried, like, I was thinking, it's like, right. I'm not proud of it, but I was like, how do I steal this thing? <laughs> yeah. That's, oh, that's wait, what wait, we do every outfit. outfit. How do we <laughs> steal this shit? Yeah. Every outfit. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, you nah. should have. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, then, so then we go into, um, uh, we go into the sax letter. The sax letter. This motherfucker, dude. Yeah. How great right. is his voice? Yeah. Oh. He did all the, the table reads. For I want him to do yeah. like a bedtime story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His voice is insane. Damn. Yeah. Shane doesn't do the fucking table. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. When, he, when he played a dead body, what? what uh, he was that Shane? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. And he just laid there dead. And he just laid there. I his felt for so her. Short. I felt for her episode. That's a tough episode. Tell me her name again. I'm just, yeah. yeah. She. She. Cr she was. That was. She good. was great. But man, like, do you know? You know that feeling as an actor, and you read, and you're like, oh my. My God, I gotta be mourning a dead person the entire episode. Yeah. It's how hard. It's yeah. like you're like, oh, I hope I have it. Yeah, it's like a it's a weird place to get into. Right. Like, so yeah, you gotta you gotta really lock in and get. I mean, dude, dark ass fuck it, you're talking to Tariq. He's been mourning yeah. people for, for ten seasons. <laughs> yeah, but he does a little. Know, but does he mourn? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, they had to go yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 the game. Well, she was like a forty five seconds with a corpse just on her single shot. I think she wanted that though because for three seasons she's been like, and Tariq St. Patrick in a courtroom. I think she was like ready, ready to, which is good. Um, I think Shane the whole time was just like, mourn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was he? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Like, That's something he did. I don't think you're crying enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> More tears. I mean, I do. I mean, you know, he's, like, he's always fun. Right? Yeah. Uh, and, and Effie, how dope did Effie look in prison? Fire. Like She just looked so fucking badass in prison. Mm -hmm. what, what were some of those scenes like? You know, there was one, there was a little... Um, there was a thing that I shot that I really wanted in, but I, I don't know, probably didn't make because of time or whatever yeah. it was, where I, like, did this, I did it, we did a shot where, like, kind of tracked through it, and, like, you see all these these inmates, and we told them they can all talk at the same time, because once you have, like, I don't know, five or six of them, and then everybody can just talk. Mm. And, like, seeing her in the back, like, and pushing through, like, all, the they, all these other ladies. and That's a fire shot. It was, like, and she was just in there just, like, being, like, hard. Right. And you know, I mean, she's great. You know, she's uh, Alex does a lot for for her character. Yeah, and um, love you. Alex. It was fun to see Kane in a suit. Like yeah. well, playing the other suit was so <laughs> 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 All I had to say was Effie, it must be that so must, good. Yeah. That, it must be the best shit ever. Yeah. For him to for Kane to pull up in a suit and glasses, yeah. that shit must be incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. That gotta be the super soaker yeah. 3000. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> super soaker? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I mean, nice. That's a new one. You can use that one. Yeah, not, with, not with your 15 year old daughter. Fifth grade. <laughs> yeah. Not fifth grade. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta wait for, 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 for after time for that. <laughs> David at home, he was like, that's the super soaker. She's like, Dad? Dad? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. That. And Woody was so, he actually, like, I felt for Kane in that scene because he was hurt. When he left, like, he actually was like, fuck you. Like, and that, <laughs> and that was an ad. Like, it was, that's how, uh, that, that fuck you was an ad. Oh, he, he added that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, it was one of, you know, I love working with Woody. And right. it's always, like, finding things and, you know, sometimes, you know, you, the script's there and you, you trim and find and like, you know, find the like that last little piece of tone that you really want. And, right. And I forget what he. I think he did it once, and he likes to play. Right. He right. likes to just you know let's try this, let's try this, and then I do the same thing with him. And I think I'm pretty sure he added the fuck you, and um, it like cha it, it like ch changes everything right. because you're right. Kane should be showing up. After he's telling him, the beginning of the episode, he's like, you left her thirsty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now he's, like, dressed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thirsty. <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> but, but, you know, their, their relationship, like, you know, he wouldn't have done that in front of everybody else. Right. It's like, Hell they no. have, like, a closed door, like, mm -hmm. he's like he's we open. go hide and be real 
He's moments. Good being vulnerable. That's a good yeah. point. He's good at showing his little, his little colors. But here's the thing: Tariq was always very vulnerable with Effie too. What is mm-hmm. it about Effie that just brings out the? Mm. It's gotta it's be the, the super soul. <laughs> 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 it's gotta be because all, all those scenes, pre, uh, the previous seasons was like Tariq really like he did with Diana a little bit. He mm. did like kind of barely though, right? Mm. And a little bit with Lauren, but like Effie was like where he really confided in. So mm. it's gotta it's be super soaker, It's man. gotta be fire. Is all I'm <laughs> She's saying. so good. She gotta be opening up to yeah. him. Man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now, now we head on over to good old Uncle Lucas. Uncle well, hold on a second, because I thought the best scene of the whole show of the episode for me, for yeah. my money, was the two of you in that I guess warehouse or whatever that sort of empty yeah. room, oh, trying to decide fire, what yeah. family means, yeah, right. yeah, 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 and who your real a, family is. I think that was. Scene. I think you got to put it on your real. That's that's a great scene. Scene. That was a fire <laughs> scene. That was a fire. Uh, scene. You want to? What's so funny is that we actually struggled. Yeah, we, we struggled, struggled like for the first like four or five takes. Scene. Why? Yeah, because they didn't, that scene was unplanned. Yeah, like oh, that right. yeah. scene we weren't supposed to was film that unplanned, that day. Didn't know your and that wasn't <laughs> even the location <laughs> we were going to shoot it in. Yeah, it wasn't. Right. And because somebody, there was somebody that couldn't show up Someone to work COVID. that day. Me. Yes. <laughs> I got COVID. <laughs> Holy I got shit. COVID. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Definitely so did. we I like, remember that. I was like gone for a week with yeah, COVID. Yeah. Oh, you had you had like I showed up. I got day. in the trailer and they were yeah. like, "You're positive." I'm like, yeah. "What? I feel terrific." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit! I got the vid." It got me before he did, I even yeah. knew it. And then they put me in a hotel by myself for 24 hours to see if it was confirmed. Right. That was it, a weird time. Yeah, it was a weird, right? yeah, oh, was a weird they day. Put you I felt like a leper. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get get over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All your stuff was basically. One day, because you were in hiding. Yeah, yeah, it was so and easy. So, and I was like, oh, I just fuck production. <laughs> it's such a yeah, bad feeling. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't my fault, I guess. Like, I don't think I did anything irresponsible with no, COVID. No, no, there's but nothing you, you still could, there's do. Nothing we're on yachts with girls sh- champagne and everywhere. And they're like, <laughs> we're irresponsible. Yeah. Okay, no, but good. you still feel like an idiot. You're like, I fucked you're it like, up. You're like, how did yeah. I do yeah. Right. Right. Anyway, you guys forgave me. I appreciate it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but you, that scene but you may have gotten better. Scene. Yes. Mm. You because didn't overplan, and it was raw and real. Right. Yeah, and the lo- that location, like, I we like literally location. found. Like, yeah. Because that's so, right under where I killed you. It's underneath where we oh, killed you. Yeah. Oh, cool. Like, cool. like it would never mm-hmm. have been shot. I, I yeah. don't even remember where it was supposed to be shot. It was probably, it was probably some... Like, you know, abandoned, interesting, interesting meeting, interesting place. meeting place. It's so funny because in in the original power scripts, like they were, it was very like clear on what was wanted. But mm. we, because I was in actually Curly's office, who was supposed to do a recap with us, but he's too nervous. He does locations, <laughs> and he has what a. The fuck a is he and, nervous? He's nervous. Yeah, he's literally too nervous. Really? Yeah, but he has an Get app literally curves. where he's taking pictures of literally every building in New York City. He has because when he gets a script, he goes, "Oh, this will be perfect," and then he goes to his little file, his app. So. um... Uh, I assume, like, cur- like in-, in the original power, it was very specific. This is what they want. This is what they want. And now in the scripts, they just say, interest in meeting place. Interest in meeting place. IMP. That was a, IMP. That was a, that was a Courtney <laughs> thing. She used to do that. I mean, there, there's a, you know, you could take the scene, you could take the actors and be like, it's two people talking. Right. You need to get this information out. Make it look good. Right. So that was something that did start in power. And then, like, directors come in. Or, or later on or even I, early? Probably, probably. I, I don't know what season, but right. I know it was a it was an original power thing. Because when I came on, I was like, what, what's, an I, what's an IMP? And, right. like, directors yeah. come on, they're like, so it says exterior imp. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> what's yeah. what's, what's, the, imp? what's yeah. an yeah. imp? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, but anyways, we didn't know our lines. <laughs> nope. And Yeah, we were not off book at all. Oh. And we were just like struggling, like emotionally, it felt fake, this and that. And then like, I got, we got I think, each I think the face. frustration of us not like getting into it when we wanted to right. kind of like ju- like drove right. us to yeah. like, We into really it. like locked in together, and like there was one scene I was like, Mike, let's fucking go, and he's like, let's fucking do. It. And we mm-hmm. literally, and I think that was the one that yeah. was like it, because we fucking went hard. Mm-hmm. And at the end, everyone like was like, woo, like, yeah, everybody was yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. it was yeah. awesome. And there's so much as a side note, seeing you guys behind the scenes be such close loving friends and not to get soft here no, no, no. but it's so beautiful mm-hmm. and I like love my friends and all this stuff and now I love you guys but like all that informs so much of what comes on the screen it's so special mm-hmm. and so just don't break up he's here for it yeah. he's here for the I mean I thought that was like one of those it, you know you guys get compared to, to Ghost and Tommy all right. the time and mm-hmm. I remember when we were doing that scene I was like 
Mm-hmm. Yo, this is like yeah. Ghost yeah. and Tommy yelling at each other the yeah. whole time. Right. Like, yep. Getting it's each like one of those face. scenes where they were in like the penthouse and, and and Tommy and Ghost is like arguing in the fucking office. Like one of those yep. type of scenes. Yeah. Like, yep. Yeah, it definitely yeah. felt like that. That was a fun. That we was were a cutting fun each other off. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I like that realness yeah. of like, because when you get on a show and it's like ten, se- you know, it's for t- ten seasons. Like, it's very like, okay, this is how we do it. This is mm-hmm. this yeah. and that. It's like I like the cut, the rawness, the cutting off, and that's really what that was because we didn't know our lines, and yeah. I forgot about that until just now. Yeah, yeah we definitely didn't know shit. Good. That that scene caught us off guard. I'm like, damn, what the fuck are we gonna do, G? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, yeah. I'm like, what are we gonna do, bro? I was like, God, God, go for it. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that was a good scene. And then so then we go upstairs to go to. To go to old Uncle Lucas. Damn, I'm just relaxing. I am <laughs> calm. I'm chilling. having a little. Uncle Luke chilling, chilling this whole episode. <laughs> like, I'm chilling. I've got my two thousand dollar leisure suit on <laughs> yeah. that I almost drink. stole, <laughs> and uh, very comfortable. Yeah, and I'm making fun of you. Yeah. Just relax. It's so funny. Yeah, I actually <laughs> yeah, did notice chilling. that. I was like, he was. For everything to be crumbling down, he's, he's so just chill. Like, he's like, yeah, yeah you guys like, are gonna take the fall for it. I'm good. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. That was such your character. That yeah. was so perfect. Yeah, yeah I think a- I think I always I made up that just Lucas is playing a video game like nothing is real. And I remember Brett. You didn't know this, but Brett when he talked to me about the character was like, I think he's got an Eastern philosophy, Eastern religion philosophy. Like everything is an illusion. Mm-hmm. Money's an illusion. Everything's an illusion. So you might as well just play the game that makes you f- like Make feel, f- have fun. Right. right. And so for him, it's, uh, there's no sort of ethics. It's just like, let me have fun. Everyone's going to be fine. Some people <laughs> lose some money. Big whoop. It's all an illusion anyway. <laughs> yeah. so that's how I play the whole thing. <laughs> So my favorite, my favorite scene of you was when the one was funny with like it was you, me, and uh, and uh, uh, Robert. Uh, we were watching Tate, and I was in the middle of you two. I was like, "Can you guys fucking stop?" Like mm-hmm. that was really funny. But the best one was when with RSJ, and you're like a bunch of pigs suckling their. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he said, and now I find myself skewed from ass to mouth. Like a sucking pig. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That shit so had good. me dying. <laughs> so I, I remember reading that, being like, "Is this a new writer? This is fucking amazing." Yeah. Yeah. I love that scene. Like, it was so good though. Yeah, like I find pig. myself. Yeah. Good memory, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that shit because it was just so funny to me every time. I couldn't laugh, but in my head, I'm like, this shit is uh, so funny. That was so good because so you were like kind of like you were kind of like angry, but also like still kind of being. Yeah, again, you're just like, all right, I'm taking some time. I'm gonna separate myself from this. Yes, I am. I am. That's the image that came into my head. Right. Right. <laughs> Right, and so, so then we go we go to that scene, and you, I it's, you are so much taller than me. I know <laughs> like, it's great. I'm like this every By every the- scene. <laughs> like, yeah, dude. But it don't it only really I forget which episode it was. It only really was seen was truly right. in the walk away. The walk and talk. <laughs> we're going, going. Yeah, but it wasn't even as bad. Like when you texted me, you were like, "Dude, it's insane. I'm getting made fun of whatever." Yeah, it's like. And I was like, yeah, we probably look like Minute Ball and Spud Webb. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know that. <laughs> no. Those are some old school. Yeah, that's literally Those are some 80s. And when, but dude, and, the and the then I looked at it, it's really not that bad at all. I mean, it, look, I'm taller than you. It's just because you're the taller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's, like, like, he's like, I don't yeah, look yeah. too tall in this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I looked perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I ain't that tall. I could be taller. <laughs> But yeah, so and then uh, so I go up, I go upstairs to the thing, and I already saw. I was like, "Damn, he's so much taller than you." But so you, that was a stunt double that did because you never got thrown over, right? Not on the the first thing where you see that one shot where I sort of hit my head on the side of the yeah. building before going over. Yeah. But we we got to the point, and they got ropes on me where I'm I'm coming up to that point. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then the stunt double, and then the scene that never happened. Yeah, there was a big. Sh- it's not a scene, but there was a yeah. big shot that. You sold you, me on it. You're like, hey, we're gonna have the camera under the skylight. It's gonna be so great. We're gonna be we're gonna this camera in the skylight, and we're gonna, you're just gonna see a little speck like four hundred feet up. And it's just gonna go right onto the camera, and I was like, fuck yeah! And then I find Yo, myself in Brooklyn, so harnessed up, feeling like Spider Man. You know, the fucking things so are right on my. It. Oh, we shot it. Fuck. And it, they were reversing it. And I don't know if you've and ever done a scene we, where you have to start dead and then come alive as it comes up. Oh, so you're that's like, actually crazy. And then it does, because they were going to reverse the, mm. the film. So you're like, all right, I got to play dead. Mm. And then as it pulls up, I have you're to right. be like, oh. 
<laughs> no, <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> it was so it was weird. reverse acting. <laughs> yeah, reverse yeah. acting in a pulley, but it was very fun. It, it was, was very a, exciting. Yeah. Why did they make it? I want to see that. I haven't had that conversation to figure out exactly why, but <laughs> if it's the acting, don't tell me. I don't, <laughs> think, I don't think that. <laughs> I think it was probably like it was like one of those things like this could either be awesome right. or, or this could be oh, weird. Right. Yeah. And I don't know It could look charm. The thing yeah, I think the I thing think is, <laughs> I well, I don't know if it even got to that point because uh -huh. I like the only way I knew that it wasn't that it didn't happen, because I I didn't see like I you know, once I did a director's cut, like now I start seeing producer cuts, you know, cuts that go out farther. But, like, right. last year I was just getting a director's cut, so I put my cut in, and I put the shot in, and it says, like, all, so you got to do all this VFX. Can you explain that a little bit? So you, the director's cut is you make, you edit it to the cut that you want, and then that's it. You give it to the network, and then it's And then that's it. So, like, you get four days to get an episode. You get four days to kind of get what you were trying to do each time. Like, the, I want this shot at this moment, and I want to cut here at this moment. I want to do this. So, like... That's your kind of guide to right. everybody else, and then you know a lot. A lot of times, like the script's long, so you cut things for time. Right. Like, you know, other people's preferences. You know, all of this is just taste, right? right so, right. like, what you like, what he likes, may not be what Brett likes or what right. the studio likes or what you know. We so like it's a lot more of, of stuff. It. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, more exactly. like murder and more broad murder. daylight. This season, Brandon's all like more blood. More <laughs> time. Yeah, I, I, uh, well, I had a meeting in the beginning of the season, like VFX people and posts, and they were like, you know, we really have to like do like things more practically. I was like, can I ask you a question? Like, have you ever had the note too much blood? And they're like, never. And I was like, mm -hmm. perfect. <laughs> so, like, I just go to everybody. I'm like, more blood, more, more, blood. more. And they're yeah. like, more really? It's really hard to take away later. I'm like, they've so never what? been asked to take <laughs> away blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they're yeah. always adding blood. Yeah. Yeah. Cut, but what we were filming the other day with Ferez. Yeah, that shit yeah. was crazy. That yeah. the amount of blood that was on us that day was crazy. Let me say something because right when we were, were filming my death scene, I was working on coming back for season five as an identical twin to Lucas. <laughs> yeah, and I was working Brett hard on it. You were helping me out on that, and I thought we were making headway. <laughs> but then I watched this episode, and it, there's not that much blood when Lucas hits the car. Yeah. So I think he could come in a little wheelchair with like <laughs> face. <laughs> Construction. But he's good. Though. But I think season five, he mixes it up with his boy. <laughs> you on, should start dude. working on your accent. Like, I have a half mask, yeah, kind of family like, opera vibes. Like yeah. dead facial I wasn't exactly. that fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Like, 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 from, like from, from Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yes. Pitch it. Pitch you know what's so funny is that in the show, I feel like Brayden, uh, I never related to Robert. Like my dad, who, yeah, play, who plays my dad. Yeah. I, like even Offset, whatever. Like yeah. it seems like just so far removed of what Braden is. But when you came in, the, I don't know if it maybe the fans have seen it too, or maybe you guys have seen it. But like I felt like a connection. Yeah. Like I felt like I was always. Um, it informed my previous life as Brayden. I felt like I always connected with Uncle Lucas. Yeah. Because well, Uncle Lucas is like... He's, 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 like a, he's a schemer. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a, a schemer. criminal. He's a criminal. He's a schemer. Yeah. yeah. So I like, love oh, it. That's my guy. Yeah. And, it's all and, a video game, man. Let's have but fun. But I didn't know. They didn't tell me it was a Ponzi scheme until... Because they didn't want me to know, which uh -huh. I'm happy that they, they didn't tell yeah. me because oh. I would have played those scenes differently. I see. But um, they, they told me that I was killing you, but I didn't know to what extent. That's all That's all yeah. I knew. Um, but the... Uh, uh, immediately before I even knew that you were a criminal, I felt like we just related. Like, I don't know what it was. And then once the criminal stuff came out, I was like, ah, he's a, yeah. he's a dirtbag Uncle just like Lucas, us. Like, yeah. Uncle Luke is like Brayden. Like, I feel like he was just like Brayden when yeah. he was young. But, yeah, but I just respect no, Less off-white. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, less yeah. yeah. less Amiri. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what fire... Uh, Lucas doesn't know what fire means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's... it's, it's Kind of what the show talks about. It's yeah. two sides of the same coin, even though one's looked at as way worse than the right. other. It's two sides of the same coin. You're ruining lives over here. You're taking away people's money. We're ruining lives. We're selling drugs. We're taking away people's lives. Right. But you say <laughs> yeah. white collar is, is a nuisance. Yeah. Drug dealing it is, is way worse. a whole other thing. A whole other, whole yeah. other story, B. Story a whole other story, B. B. That's yeah. what I am. You that. added that. <laughs> But it is w so interesting improv. because it, it, it speaks about the world. Like, mm -hmm. it speaks about, like, yeah, this is seen as kind of okay and this is seen as, like, terrible, but mm -hmm. it's kind of the same thing. It's just... You know, skin color. It's yeah. it's the suit you put on, or is it the the Jordans you put on? Is it the mirror you put on? Well, like, that's the thing. The layer of this show that I think resonates so deeply is like you have those classroom scenes where you're sort of hitting on the head in such a kind of original way 
things that most TV can't hit on the head, right. you know? So you just have those discussions, and it adds a depth to it all. Right. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah, it's fucking... It's fucking I think great. the one reason why you guys... So, like, you guys were both schemers, Braden and um, Lucas. Uncle Lucas, but as actors, you both became actors for the girls. I yeah, mean, well, yeah. yeah. By the way, <laughs> we, yeah. if any actor <laughs> ever tells you they did, that wasn't a huge part of it. Then. Yeah, I'm here for the art, and, like, I, yeah. I, love, the, I love Michael the pulling art. up in his Audi R8 with his $150,000 <laughs> chain and his watch. He's pulling up. He's like, I'm here for the I'm art. I'm here for the art. I love the art. I just love, you know, just seeing everyone, you know, set up the lights. And, like, I love the art, too. To just I love the art. I will say... What we can come it's from. It's 50-50. For me, <laughs> I love making people laugh. I love being an entertainer. I love coming to set. I get to do this as a job. This right here, podcast, this is also part, art, of, it, yeah. part of our job. Mm -hmm. I could not ask for anything more. I show up, I work with my best friend every day, even on, my, on the show, too. Um, and, and I go up to Brennan's, I go to work when I'm not even working. I go up to his office and we shoot the shit for fucking hours, like mm -hmm. trying to make the show better, trying to make it as great as possible because that's how much I care because mm -hmm. I love it so much. You think if I was working at some fucking company that I would show up on my days off and be like, how do we make this company better? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell no. Never. Hell fucking no. No. Never. No, that is a fact, though. Like, like part of like, act, like being an actor and loving acting is literally like the art and then Everything that everything else that comes with it, like right. you know, just being on set with an amazing ass crew and cast every day, coming to set, getting to fucking make jokes with Brendan, getting to fucking make jokes with you, right. like see everybody on set. It's just like I don't know. Part of that is just like it's like a family, bro. It's yeah, like, it's true. And the the key is if is liking the people you're with. Yeah, like yeah, obviously, like you know, it's it's. The, There's it's, two things. It's right. the love, and then you're like, what do I love to do the most in this world? Am I good at it? And then mm -hmm. you make that calculation, or like, and then you're like. And will I get girls doing it? Yes. <laughs> and then that's, that's what when you that merges, of. you're like, this Holy is a no-brainer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. And the girls start coming, yeah. you're like, oh my yeah. God, what the fuck? They're all easy. But I never like, had what you guys have. Like, I was 20, you're 23? 26. Both, you're 26, yeah. 23. So, like, my first sort of, like, recognized out and about was I was already married with kids and stuff. So, oh. I, which, no, 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 it's totally fine. We we were fine. We were fine. <laughs> we were fine. But we, my point is, it's why I love watching you two go through the world. And you will know how much I was asking about your personal life. Yeah. On set. Oh my God, literally on set. Yeah. David would come up to me like, in between scenes. He's like, so like, what are you guys doing this week? Yeah. I was like, oh, we just had a club hosting in Miami. We went from New Orleans to Miami. We oh sold my out God. the place. That was definitely, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I was showing season. him videos of like girl, like thousands of girls just screaming. He's just like, yeah. No, no, I just love young bucks fucking feeling it. Yeah. Going out of the world, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And taking what's yours. Go yeah. get it. Go you gotta get it. live, baby. Yeah. You gotta live. But I will say, that is, it's a good feeling. It's a fun feeling going to that. But there's nothing like... Like when you're doing a scene and it like you crush the scene, you get the like, yeah. That, you get feeling that feeling is insane, bro. Yeah. Like the feeling we got after that fucking that scene, scene yeah. yeah, in the empty room, like and that, you can right see it on TV, man. Right. And it makes the show so much yeah, better. Man. Yeah, that feeling is insane. That's yeah. a fucking amazing. That's what brings you back. Yeah, yeah. that is a good. So it brings you back because here's the thing: there's so many people who like who want to be famous, who want to do that, but that's not going to get you through the 14 hour days. That's not going to no. get you through a show that no. you hate. Like no. pe people want people want to do that, but it's like that's not going to get you through four or five years of auditions without even getting a callback. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to get you through no. that. Yeah, not every, you know, acting team, people or guys that get together end up, you know, hosting as many parties as these guys yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's, no one. it's no. just kind of like a thing that's happening. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Almost yeah. no one meets their co-star. No. We could cut this too. <laughs> 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 Almost no one meets their co-star and um, has... Uh, by the way, yeah, exactly. <laughs> by the way, and it's such a weird job because I was watching, I don't know, I watched one episode where you're just pounding Kiki. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? I'm like, Yo. now I know how he pounds. <laughs> it's so no, weird. Better than that. Yeah. <laughs> Give me 15 to 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I usually go 45 to 60. Yeah. I usually go 45 to 60. It's such a weird job, yeah, dude. I'm amazing. like, I remember you guys talking, meeting each other. Right. And there you are just pounding away yeah. three weeks later. <laughs> Isn't it always, nice to meet you? Yeah. Isn't it always funny, like in sex scenes, like they have to you have to start and finish so fast. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and be like, and that was great. It was cool. It was yeah, like, yeah. It was like, it was like 10 seconds. Did like, they have a cock sock on you? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. No, because there was no ass. 
Because I've, yeah, I've a, only had to wear one cock sock. They had a cock sock on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or, or like the um. Fucking, for the, why don't you tell the the right? listeners what a cock sock is? We have in previous episodes. Oh, but, okay. but basically, yeah, it's like a thing. It's like a sleeve you put over. Michael's is obviously way bigger than mine, but you yeah. put it you put it over <laughs> yeah. um, your junk. This so is a t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. But it keeps your ass, ass, ass long sleeve yeah. there. Yeah, my ass is bare, You're, but it's like a clear. <laughs> oh, I see. I, the only one I had was like a cinch. It was like a Jerry rig cinch, and you just you. Put the whole thing, the balls and the stem, and you cinched it. Really? And that was it. Oh, yours must be bigger than mine. Then I. Was... No, no, no. I mean, it was honestly, uh, it made mine look so big, yeah. which was great. Yeah. Which was great. Yeah. <laughs> which was great. Which was just... He said so big. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we got we got any of these last two things before we because everyone gets mad at us when we miss stuff. So we got to go into the Castillo stuff. So Brennan, talk about how, how that how that happened. Though. Wait, do we finish your kill? Yeah, we finished the kill. So, yeah, we threw well, up the Lucas over. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, attempted murder. Yeah, attempted murder. Because we don't... Attempted murder. Paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he might come back wheelchair. Come on, bro. Get on board. Attempted murder. Like, a little bit like this, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone yeah. put in the comments, yeah. hashtag save Uncle Lucas. Yeah. 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 Please, please. <laughs> Uncle Lucas returns. My yeah. child's education depends on it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep the babies in school. You should man. just post, just post to, to get a look and just get an ax, a new accent. I'm gonna like, send Brad uh, a couple looks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just have like a quick reel. For yeah, all exactly. This is recovery yeah. from the fall. But so in when I when I threw the um when I threw the uh, the stunt the double, stunt over, guy? he hit his head, he hit his head. on hit his the thing hard. and they used it. Yeah. But your a, face was like, that's like, I was like, that's the, like the best thing. He was like, yeah. he pushed him over and was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> because I actually, yeah. his head yeah, hit the he thing hit and head. I was like, oh my God, that stunt guy's dead. Yeah. That, that stunt guy is not alive. And then he like got up and he just went, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, we're good. Stunt doubles yeah. a lunatic. Yeah. Bro, yeah. They are insane. We had one on a couple episodes Yeah, no, I yeah, saw that one. Yeah, yeah. Take he's died like pain. five times. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He died in the he first died in the original, episode of Power. He, yeah, yeah, in the original Power. <laughs> he died in Ghost. Just different ghosts. ways. Yeah. Yeah. Different yeah. ways. No, he was, so the scene, I went back and looked after his episode, the scene where he dies in Power, he's himself, same tattoo, same everything. And then when Kane and I are running out of the trap house when we were shooting, um, it was literally him shooting at the bends. I'm like, this motherfucker's alive now. <laughs> yeah. But it's just, there's only himself. so many stunt people in, yeah. in yeah. New York City. Yeah, yeah. 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 correct. Not a lot. I mean, um, I think Woody said something to me. was like, I'm pretty sure I've killed this guy before. <laughs> 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 and Mecca's hanger or something. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah, no cap. Yeah. Everybody did. So, so what happened with the, with the Castillo kill? Was that um, you guys used the CO two and stuff like that? What, what was the that? Castillo? Was kill? that gas in the building already? No, no. It was in. I mean, that was one of those things where we all had meetings and we were like, okay, so like, if it was gas in the building, it's a gas leak from there. Like they would all know, and they would like. That would I, take I, hours, right? And it would take effort. Well, there, there was a couple gas. things. There was like, you know, I think it was written that like they go in, there's gas, they put gas on, and. Uh, you know, they fall out. But, like, it was just, as you start dissecting it, sometimes the scene, you're like, that doesn't make any, like, this This part doesn't make sense. Like or you start talking a little to bit the, of fuck it. Right. Well, yes. The lot, there's a, you know, there's a lot of that in, in any TV show. <laughs> right. there's sometimes it's like, well, this doesn't make sense, but this but will be it. cool. Let's right, make right, it right. cool. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, if it's cool enough, it's nobody would be like, no, it's cool. Exactly. <laughs> right. Car, <laughs> cars on the moon. Bunch of <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, but I think <laughs> I think we were in like a we were in a Fast meeting and it was like the moon. Co- it was like it was supposed to be carbon monoxide and some and then someone was like that would take forever and it would be like impossible and you would know how much carbon monoxide you would need and it wouldn't exist and then you know, like Shane the like special effects guy who's <laughs> like Shane. he's been on the show since the very beginning he's, yeah. he's always like man carbon dioxide would kill him pretty fast. <laughs> 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 Well, yeah, that's uh, you can't do that, but you can get carbon dioxide. You can get tanks of those kind of anywhere. And you just <laughs> put some tubes, and I was like, <laughs> okay, right. Right. Shane's the guy who you'd be like, that's literally how you Shane, go. I need to kill somebody and get rid of him. He's like, all right, so this is what we're going to do. We're gonna <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, have you done this before? Like, what the fuck were you doing before you got into this? It was yeah. all because it's a show and it's 57 minutes. It all happened very quickly. So it was like quick gas deaths. And that's and then like a little thump and immediately opening the door, which was a high-risk maneuver because <laughs> yeah. then you're letting the gas out. Yeah. And then someone was still alive. Yeah. And the mass off. Yeah. They, then their own mass off. So that was bumping me a little bit. Well, the funny thing is, is that 
we talk to Shane, the guy who says this is how you kill people this fast. <laughs> Shane. And you're like, so if they open up the window door, won't it kind of like air out enough? He's like, yeah, pretty much. He's going to be standing right there. He, he'll be okay. And I was like, okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> we did it for a while. Like, okay, you can't take your... Because I was like, well, we can't like have this scene with Drew's gas mask on the whole time. Like, he's going to be like, yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know? Like he's Bane. Bane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um... I actually think the original script, <clears throat> she just died. Mm. And it was one of those things that we were like, when we were talking about, I was like, so the only reason to go in is to make sure they're, they're all dead. dead. Right. Yeah. Like, or else you just gas and like leave, right? Yeah. But like, that's the point is like, you have to go in. So like, I don't know if it's still, I don't know if it's still in the edit, uh, but like, you know, we sent Kane to the back and was like, okay, you go make sure they're dead and you're, you know, just cupping people's noses and putting them out. But right. I think that was something that was also kind of a, it added in prep with Gabby and Brett and everybody and we're right. just like, he needs to like make sure that yeah, this happens. They're dead, yeah. And they're like, that's dark. It was like, because sometimes yeah. people get shot seven to eight, and then they still alive. Yeah, we so can't let like, yeah. fall out yeah. of the yeah. building. She the could be out yeah, there. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. The bigger the character, the harder the death. Yeah. Yeah. If, it's, if it's a smaller recur, like just a bullet oh. to the ankle might kill. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but some of the stuff is is forgivable because it's cool. But it's, I saw Shane. I came to I came to the stages like a couple weeks ago, and Shane. Just think of like a horror movie butcher, just like a big guy. I walked into the stages. The first thing I see is just Shane with blood from head to toe on his body, with with um like the rubber gloves on, and then he just walked up to him and goes, "Yeah, it looked good." Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. all he said and then I was like I just I was like morning Shane is like yeah. morning that's yeah. walk by that's the, you know does, does, does Ghost and does Kanan yeah, no. yeah he's, 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 he's got a good amount of guy he's dope nice. so the end of this episode was obviously the uh, the Monet with the Monet stuff happened in 9 with, mm -hmm. with when Monet was yeah the the when they, when all the kids called yeah. Monet out. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That scene was so fucking good. good. Mm -hmm. Just uh, hold that bitch. Yeah. yeah. Go. Let her go. Let, let her go. go. Let go. Wait, was that scripted? Go. No, I don't think that was that scripted. I don't think that was scripted. Yeah. That was a Mary thing. Yeah, yeah, and there was, was definitely like Mary, like, you know, Mary, Mary loves to get into one of those like. Yeah. I those love that arguments. Yeah. I love that and shit. like, that I think everybody shit. loves to be like, oh, to how to dinner. Some shit is about to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, oh wait, everybody's here. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's oh here. shit, yeah, some something's about, about to happen. And she did have like a, she had like a ad lib that I don't, I don't think it's actually made it into us. She was like, you feeling froggy? Let's sleep. Mm. You feeling froggy? Let her go. Like, let her go. <laughs> like, get her out of here. Yeah, that is hilarious. But, and then Mary. she and her like, you know, it, it's one of those scenes like. You just keep adding, adding mm -hmm, tension. Adding Be like, shit. keep going, keep pushing, keep pushing. Mm -hmm, it's right. like when you guys did the scene in the warehouse. Like, keep yelling at each other. Get, right. Don't wait for them to stop talking. Do right. it. Right. And <laughs> that's what adds all that energy. And she was like, I think at the end she like mushes. Yo, that was Drew. The, that was the best. And she was like, I want to mush him. I'm like, mush him. Yeah. 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 Do it. If you have an like, instinct as an actor, yeah. do, mush it. do it. Right. Do it. Don't right. even act sometimes. Yeah. Just do it. And then what, what's blood. the worst thing that happens? It, it doesn't well, work. Oh, and, maybe that doesn't work. Right. Maybe you should do it. Something yeah, or it doesn't it. work, or it doesn't match. I mean, then everybody comes up to him and was like, well, she didn't do that the last on this take when we were on the other side. So I don't know if it'll be able to match. And I was like, I'm pretty sure this is gonna. It'll be fine. This is gonna make it in the episode. So like, we just won't use anything else because this is all. Awesome. The mush was the cherry on top. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. The mush yeah. was like, I'm like, yeah, we needed yeah. that mush. Yeah. We needed that mush. What's the worst thing that happens? You Mary accidentally no throw scene. David Walton over a, a ledge. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what's the what's the worst that happens in a scene? <laughs> now, I love when Mary gets gets those scenes though. Yeah. It's like to like to show her fucking yeah. To show Cause her she can shit. go there. She, yeah, she can real yeah. well. When she gets when she goes there, it's like, damn, holy shit. Yeah, her, her ad libs are always usually the best. Yeah, yeah, they're on point. <laughs> they're yeah. on point. There's stuff that she'll decide. Something happens, she'll be like, bitch. Yeah, like, that shit yeah. was so funny. Let it go. So the end of this episode was Tommy comes back. Ooh, Tommy yeah, returns. Right. And at this time, me and Joe weren't talking. Oh, so yeah, I just yeah, didn't yeah. come to set and do it. Because I, right. like, I always come to set. There's like cool scenes. I was like, me and Joe weren't talking. I'm like, I'm not coming to fucking set. We'll see. But um, thank you guys so yes. much for coming on yes. and recapping. Thank you. It was super fun, man. Hell do you yeah. guys have any other stories you wanted to throw out there from, from this episode before we... Before we go eat right now? No, I just want to say being here was uh, just super wavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just said it so it was wavy, baby. <laughs> it was not Sherm. It was not Sherm. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm good. I don't think I've 
forgot anything from that episode. Mm, I was just wondering. Yeah. Is there you, something that you no, think no, no, I, I forgot? I just was curious if you, if you like. Because I bet I forgot stuff. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I think we went to the episode good. I just didn't know if you had any like funny tidbits that we didn't touch on there. I will say one thing that uh, maybe people don't realize, but when you're watching an episode and all the characters are talking about you as a character, yeah. it's a really nice feeling. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're like, I'm not on screen, but I am. Oh, I'm, yeah, in, I'm, in about me, I'm in this bitch. You know, I'm not yeah, in this bitch, talking about yeah, me. Everyone like, keeps saying that to everybody. You want to know what? David Waller <clears throat> says what every actor is thinking. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Because sometimes they're like, when when Blanca and stuff brings up like Brayden Weston, I'm like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm in on this. I'm in on this. Uh, That's hilarious. Thank you guys so thank much you. for coming. Yeah, thank what, you guys. What do you have to plug? Do, what do you guys have to plug? I know you have movies. Uh, uh, David? Uh, nothing right now. I'm doing very different stuff. Nice. I'm selling you got a back. podcast coming out, right? Uh, I'm doing a podcast with an actor named Jeremy Sisto and uh, selling bathrobes Good as robes. usual. Oh, my God. The most <laughs> comfortable robes ever. I'm telling you I'm right not now. joking. I no can't lie. believe I forgot about this. Theperfectbathrobe.com. It yes. ch- it, um, this isn't an ad read. That's anything. Right. I don't yeah. even like David. <laughs> the, the bathrobe. <laughs> It, he gave me one. It is yeah. literally gave me and Michael both one. It is the greatest. It changed my life. Yeah. Every time I have a girl come over, I'm like, you got to put this bathrobe on. <laughs> you yeah. sent me video. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I, did. I did. I had a girl in a bathroom in the bathroom, like laying in the bed one time. She's like, it's so comfortable. I was like, and I was like, oh, wait, can you yeah. say that again? I like, I'm, gonna send this to, I'm gonna send this to David. Perfectbathrobe.com. It's Not yet. in fucking crazy. Yeah. What's the one that I have? You have the perfect bathrobe. It's the white spa robe, and then there's a summer robe. But oh, you have I got that. We both yeah, have the spa. yeah. It's the spa robe. It's the white one. It's just a classic a spa robe. Shower, softest just... Terry in the world. It, it literally is. Yeah. I'm not right fucking there. around. It's the softest thing I've ever put on. Bro, That's why I'm don't giving it a whole. Just get out the fucking shower. I can and do just a code roll, if you want to give some discounts for uh, your do viewers. Do promo code crew. Okay. Yeah, uh, crew. Yeah. Crew. All right. I'm telling you, get this bathrobe. It literally changed my fucking life. I'm about to buy another one because I got like a little. Anyways. Um, I got some stuff. So we'll talk about it. You got some stuff on it. Someone got makeup on it and I want to pass it to somebody else (laughs) who who wears a different Uh, shade of makeup. (laughs) (laughs) Brandon, what do you got what do you got to plug? Um Season four, yeah. Season four, this baby, on um, uh, episode two of season three of Kanan. Yes. Nice. Um, oh yeah, because he directs on Kanan too. Yeah. Um, How's Patina doing? You talked to her? Oh, she's so good. Uh, <laughs> I, I love, love Patina. Nice she's woman. a great actress. <laughs> um, the uh, there's a movie that is I just finished in post that we did uh, last summer with um, Edie Falco and Bradley Whitford and uh, Michael Beach. And Michael yeah, I read for it. Why didn't I get it? <clears throat> Um, Scheduling. Scheduling. There's a lot of things, you know, out there. <laughs> I actually, I would not have been right for that role, anyways, because no, no. he was like it a little nerdy. Right he wasn't jacked. He wasn't fucking no. hot. He wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, wasn't wasn't, it was everything you. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. for you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, it's called "I'll Be Right There." Um, I can't wait to see it. Hopefully, it'll be out in you know six or seven months. Um, and. I think, oh, uh, new new production company uh, that we started. I started with Samantha Kokosa called Tiny Castle Films. Nice, and you know that was part of. I'll be right there, and we'll be part of new projects that we're all going to try to get together. Yeah, we're cooking up something right now, baby. Up, baby. The boys are cooking up something right now with Brandon, so you'll see. We're trying to get a whole little baby. power universe thing going on right now, but yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll wait, we'll wait. Mike, listen, man. Um, where's twenty two on Instagram? Where's twenty two on TikTok? Michael Rainey Jr. on Instagram if you want to like go to like the more like calm business side of me. But where's 22 is like where the cool side of me is at. So go follow that. Um, if you're in Jamaica, catch 22, my restaurant, go eat good. And um, yeah, where's 22 on YouTube because we got vlogs coming still. So yeah, go yeah. subscribe. Gianni V. Paolo, TikTok, Instagram, and... The boy got a million on TikTok now. I got, I got 1.1 million oh, now no, on TikTok. Oh, I'm cruising. You I'm that. cruising. <laughs> um, I'm a TikToker now, baby. Um, follow me uh, on everything. And I'm also, I'm going to start dropping some vlogs. Oh, yeah. Because, oh, yeah. listen, there's a writer's strike right now. Yeah. But the boys are working, so it don't even matter. But there's yeah. a writer's strike going on right now. So I, I, w- I also want to show you guys some behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, YouTube, like, Yao. Yao does Michael's vlog, and I found a pretty cool guy that's doing my vlog in Toronto. So Yao might get fired from Michael's vlog, too. So we're figuring it out now. But make sure you follow me on YouTube, too. Subscribe, Johnny V. Yao is not going anywhere. He's fucking locked up Yao, you're life. fired, Yao. No, nah, Yao has a lifetime contract with me. He's <laughs> never going anywhere. I don't give a fuck what he got going on. I don't care if you got to go film for fucking Jay-Z, bro, for a year straight. We love you, yeah. You're locked in. (laughs) 
<laughs> Love you too, yeah. If you, you make if me you look guys very watch cool. the vlogs, you know who Yao is. Yeah, if you watch the vlogs, vlogs, you know who Yao is. He yeah. makes us look super cool on the yeah. camera. Like. And he also has so much footage of us doing terrible things that never made the vlog. So yeah. the money will never stop, and he knows that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as long as the money flows, Yao won't, Yao won't ex fucking yeah. expose us. We're good. All right, Michael, give us one. Listen, man, the crew has it, baby. Yes, sir. The crew has it, and you have it. Thank you, David. Thank you, Brendan. <laughs> Thank you, boys. We love you, guys. The crew has it! Damn, the crew fucking has episode. it, baby. The crew has it indeed. The crew has it indeed.